Hey guys, Alex here, and today we will talk about the new Z Code tool called Line Reversals. It's a new and powerful tool that will help Z Code members to succeed in sports investing. Now, this tool is extremely easy to use and yet very powerful. It shows you how the odds of different games change in real time so you can see where the public goes and where all the shop bearers' money go as well. Line Reversals is an extremely powerful tool, especially for such systems as Trey's MLB System Plays. This is an ABC system and you can find it inside our Z Code forum. It's very successful and it's made over $4,000 of profit so far and with the help of line reversals you can do even better than that. Let's quickly take a look at the line reversals page. You have a list of all the games for today and the main line reversals graph is below it. The left axis is the odds and the right axis represents the public percentages bet on. This bold line here shows any changes in the odds, while the thin line displays changes in public percentages. Now let's talk about different types of line reversals. First, you choose a game, and now you see the following chart. It auto-updates in real time so that you don't have to click to refresh it. This chart shows you the money line change over the Tampa Bay team. The blue line corresponds to the home team and the red line to the away team. This is the starting point. You can see that the line opened around minus 130 in American odds right here. Then you can see the line was stable for a long time and this small line shows you the amount of public bets on your team. You can see it says percentages bet on Tampa Bay. So you can see it's around 60% of the public on Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay was the favorite. And the line was stable when suddenly the line drastically shot up from minus 130 to minus 150. That's over 20 points of a move over a very short time. This is called a line reversal, and if you're betting on Tampa Bay, it's a positive supporting line reversal, which means that the sharp money came in on Tampa Bay. So if you were betting with Tampa Bay, it's a very good sign of a strong positive line reversal in favor of Tampa Bay. In the end, you can see a small adjustment here. It's a very small move, and you can see it on the scale, it was less than 10 points here, so you can ignore it. And eventually, Tampa Bay won the game 3-2. to two. Now, let's take a look at a different kind of line reversal, a negative one. We have a game with Chicago White Sox against the Kansas City Royals. And you can see Chicago White Sox opened at minus 208, and it was a very strong favorite, with 80% of the public betting on their side. However, instead of increasing, the odds line went down. Think about it. The line should go up if the majority of people are betting on the same team, which means the odds should become worse, right? But instead, you can see, the line went in the opposite direction, because the real money was coming in very heavily on the underdog. So instead of getting worse, the odds line actually got better. And you can see, the line opened at minus 208 and ended at minus 158. That's a 50-point line reversal against Chicago White Sox, and this means that the sharp money favored the underdog instead. And the result? Chicago White Sox lost the game. You can click on the underdog button, and for Kansas City Royals, you can see all the money was coming into Kansas City Royals, and the underdog odds actually increased from plus 198 to plus 158 despite the fact that only 20% of the people were betting on Kansas City. So this is the kind of line reversal which is in favor of the underdog. This next one is another example of a positive line reversal in favor of the home team, San Diego Padres. As you can see, the line opened at minus 123 with 60% on San Diego. And if you were betting on San Diego, you can see that this is a positive line reversal, which is over 10 points. 
it moved from minus 130 to minus 142. So that's around 12 points of a line reversal in favor of San Diego Padres. And they won this game. Line reversals don't happen in every game. They are rare and you should check for them only about 5 to 10 minutes before the game start. You shouldn't check for line reversals very early otherwise you could miss last minute sharp moments. Here is an example of a game where you don't have any line reversals. You may be confused because this section here looks like a line reversal, but look at the chart scale. You can see on this axis the line actually moved from minus 139 to only minus 141. That's just a two point move, so this doesn't qualify as a line reversal. It's simply noise. Real line reversals must be at least 10 points or more. So once again, this is not a line reversal. Another example where you don't have any line reversal is shown here. Again, you may be confused by the movement on the chart, but if you look at the scale, all these fluctuations were just noise in the small scale between minus 140 and minus 135. So this was a very small move within 5 points and is not a line reversal. Another game. This time shows a very clear sign of a positive supportive line reversal in favor of Baltimore. You can see 60% of people were betting on Baltimore and the strong last minute move was in favor of the team. The odds jumped by about 10 points so this was a very supportive line reversal. And here you can see another game with a strong line reversal but in favor of the underdog. This is a good sign that the favorite is going to lose the game. You can see that 80% of the public was betting for Chicago White Sox and the odds were moving slowly from minus 195 to minus 210. So this was a small move due to public betting and everything was fine until the last couple of minutes. You can scale this graph down. For example, you can choose between 24 hours, 12 hours, 6 hours, 3 hours. So let's check 6 hours. What happened in the last 6 hours here? You can see the line was pretty stable and then suddenly the line moved from minus 205 to minus 195. So this is a 10 point line reversal and it came in on the direction of the underdog. Click the underdog option and you can see the line moved in favor of Kansas City and of course Kansas City won this game. So this is a very good example of how you should be checking for line reversals 5 to 10 minutes before the game and before you place the bet, not earlier. You can always ignore the earlier moves. Here is another game where you don't have any valid line reversals. You can see Arizona was on the road for this game and is shown in red. The line was moving slowly in favor of Arizona. However, since it was a favorite, we don't see any line reversals against Arizona right here. Sometimes line reversals can be very confusing. For example, this Cincinnati game. Now Cincinnati was a road favorite, that's why it's in red, and about 85% of the public money was betting on them. You can see the line moved slowly in favor of Cincinnati and this was a small move since most of the public were betting on it. So this was not a sharp money move. And then you see suddenly about 10 points of a line reversal comes in against Cincinnati because suddenly the line just drops. Now let's change the scale to see it closer. You see this was over 10 points of a reversal against Cincinnati which means if you're betting on Cincinnati it's a very bad sign for you. Then you can see a very small 7 point move in favor of the favorite after which the line was stable for a moment and then another 7 point move against Cincinnati. This is confusing at first but if you look at the scale again you can see that this was a major move, this was a minor move and then finally a pretty important major additional move against Cincinnati.
So this confusing situation would be considered as a sign to worry. If you were planning to bet on Cincinnati, you should probably pull off your bets. Be very cautious. And in reality, what happened was that Cincinnati lost this game 2-3. to three. So, you see, in this way, you can check different line reversals before the game start, at least 5-10 to 10 minutes before the game, and not earlier than that. And this way, you can see if you should pull off your bets, or put lower confidence on the team, or if you see a supportive line reversal, then it's a good sign that you can upgrade your bets to a higher confidence level. I hope you enjoyed our Z-Code line reversals tool and all the other tools that our Z-Code team is preparing for you to help you win with us in sports. So stay with us and we hope to have another successful season together with you. Thank you for watching and take care.